In this video we'll demonstrate a Stirling engine which is configured as an emergency power generator which is connected to a simple LED lantern. The Stirling engine is powered by propane and it's optimized to run continuously using an onboard water pump and a small DC generator. Let's turn on the propane. Allow a couple of seconds for the engine to warm up. Give the engine a flick. Away it goes. You can immediately see the LED lamp powering up and the onboard LED indicating power coming through. As the engine speeds up in RPM, you see the lights getting brighter and brighter. This engine's running with propane. Once the engine's up to speed, you can start turning it down. And it'll stay at that speed for as long as you'd like the light. It doesn't use much propane, the engine's very quiet. This engine has run for hundreds of hours. You can see the small water pump, small DC generator. With the water cooling, you can see the pump which is pushing water through. You can see our lights are stabilized. your propane flame. This engine is optimized. It has cooling fins in the legs, cooling fins on the cold plates in order to assist the cooling. It uses cooling on the uprights, a small radiator in the rear. Water is pumped via the pump through the radiator up into the holding tank which is also finned. And this all assists in the cooling. your water jacket. The water pump pumps the water through the jacket. The jacket cools the displacer cylinder as well as the cool plate. If we turn the propane off. You can hear how quiet the engine is. So visually see as the engine slows down your LEDs will start fading back. You can see them flickering. And the 
engines just about stopped. The power is now falling below the threshold. You can see the LED has gone out, and so is the lantern. Actually, if I turn off, off the lantern, you may see an increase in revs as the generator disconnects. These fans are available in unmodified form from warp5fans.com. Thank you for watching.